2E0VOV testing out uh, a new project which is based on the Wolfie Link. The Wolfie Link is a uh, very small interface which is built to um, connect your mobile phone or tablet to a um, a radio so you can work digital modes and also you can if you wish to record voice uh, onto your uh, tablet or phone so very useful I found the details from the uh, build or for the build as shown here this is the diagram I found them from uh, online by downloading Wolfie Link manual the actual manual for using it and if you just do a search on Google I'm sure you'll find it uh, it's a very good manual. It tells you plenty enough to be able to effectively replicate the um, the little uh, box of tricks. Here's a picture of mine. Um, it's hardly pretty, but as I say, it's dead bug. Uh, very functional, and um, you've got you've just got to, as per the design, you've got two trimmers on the bottom of the photo there, two variable resistors, which are, are just there for what the one on the. I think the one on the left was the um, tuner for uh, or the volume control for the received volume and the one on the right I think would have been then therefore the transmit audio. This is connected uh, to my uh, mobile phone or tablet through um, a four four pole three and a half mil jack plug there. That plugs into what effectively is the headphone socket of your tablet or phone. Anyway, so they're a great idea. Um, I run it on an FT817, and I've been testing it on a um, on 500 milliwatts on a program called Whisper. So here's Whisper. Um, here's the the app that I run on my tablet. Um, it costs I think about one pound fifty four at the moment. So excellent value and um, weak signal propagation reporter is it? It's uh, known or Whisper for short and. Um, yeah, it works fine. You can use it to get signal reports from other stations. It's all automatic. You just set it up and leave it to run. So here's the interface, effectively, the screen. Um, and you can tell it, obviously, your, your call sign, your, your, um, your locator square, what power you're going to use, how often you'd like it to transmit, uh, tell it the band or frequencies that you're going to operate on. Now, this was um, 500 milliwatts on 20 meters using um, uh, using my cobweb antenna 10 meters above the ground so it's quite an optimum height and uh, but 500 milliwatts my signal was heard right over into uh, stateside through into uh, from the west I should say stateside through to my east which is uh, Russia there so now this was a 5 watt transmission for um, Oh, I left it running a couple of hours, transmitting about once every 15 minutes. It would put a two-minute signal carrier up, calling out. And uh, after a couple of hours, this is what came back um, from, from uh, five watt transmission on 20 meters. It's uh, quite astonishing. This was uh, 40 meters. This was a 40 meter. Um, I left this running overnight. This particular time, five watts on uh, 40 meters. It brought back some nice results, all things considered. This was running on a, uh, a dipole antenna, um, which was about five metres above the ground. It's about gutter height of my house, so it's hardly very uh, idealistic for DX, but it still made itself across the pond to the west there into, uh, uh, into America. Uh, quite a few of them there, so it gets out all right. Um, it's very surprising. And I wish you all a happy new year as we're at the end of 2016. And I hope to see you all and speak to you all again very soon. 7-3, bye-bye for now.